To Israelis, Ilan Ramon was a shining star, the son of a Holocaust survivor, an elite fighter pilot, Israel's first and only astronaut. His story is the story of the Israeli dream. Ilan's journey to space was as symbolic as it was real. He carried the pride of a nation and its 3,000 year history on his back. His mission fulfilled the ambitions of all those whose dreams were never realized, whose aspirations were left unclaimed. One of those dreamers was Peter Gintz. As a 14-year-old in Auschwitz, Peter used his imagination to escape reality and to draw a place as far away as his mind would take him, the surface of the moon, staring out at Earth, far, far away. Peter never left Auschwitz. But Ilan Ramon brought him with him to the stars. The symbol of Israel's future carried with him a symbol of its past, up from the ashes into the sky. And then, tragically, something went wrong. A nation mourned, a family wept, a dream crashed to earth. It's been six, 10 years since we lost Ilan and six brave American astronauts. But Israel is once again reaching for the stars. The dream was lost, but not forgotten. As Peter Gintz inspired Ilan, Ilan inspires us. As the founders of Space IL, we began our journey as a team competing in the Google Lunar X Prize to land an unmanned spaceship on the moon. Since then, thousands of Israelis and Jews from around the world have joined our effort to put an Israeli surf spaceship on the lunar surface. Space AL has managed to inspire a whole new generation, much like many of you were inspired by President Kennedy's lunar challenge. That is why we stand before you, not just representing ourselves, or even our, uh, our team, or even our country. Uh, we also represent Elon and Peter, and all those who refuse to stop dreaming. Our mission is not only about the spaceship. Our mission is to light a spark. Our mission is to challenge a whole new generation of youngsters from our community and yours. Our mission is to develop the technology that will lead Israel into outer space. Our mission is to put Israel at the forefront of space exploration. Our mission is to put an Israeli flag on the surface of the moon. Not because it is easy to quote President Kennedy but because it is hard. This is not a space story. This is Israel's story. A nation born out of ashes, built from dust, challenged again and again, but always, always with sights on the stars. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Israel. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please join us in welcoming a woman we are proud to call our friend, Ilan Ramon's wife, Ms. Rona Ramon. for this honor. It's a privilege to be here. Ten years ago, I was at the White House receiving the Congressional Space Medal of Honor from, the, from President Bush on behalf of Ilan. At that time, I was invited to APA convention. I talked in front of 5,000 people, members of APA. I spoke about Ilan's historical mission, the first one to Iraq and the last one to space. Today, you're three times the size, and I congratulate you for that. Mazal tov. <laughs> We're here celebrating and commemorating the lives of the, of crew, of the Columbia crew. Rick Husband, William McCool, Kolpna Chawla, 
Michael Anderson, David Brown, Laura Clark, and Ilan. Their smile, definitely. Their smile is their legacy and inspiration for generation. When you lose someone you love, there are choices to be made. Friedrich Nietzsche once said, he who has why to live can bear almost any how. For me, one of the biggest compliment I ha had received in my life was what my eldest son, Asaf, wrote just a month before we lost him in an aircraft accident. He wrote, my siblings and I were brought up to aspire to realize our dream based on our parents' belief that everyone should discover his own calling. This sentence became my living will of providing opportunities for new generations to the Israeli youth. I have found ways to continue sharing my loved ones with the world so the memory lives through actions of others. We established the Ramon Foundation and we are co cooperating with many other partners. We work the, with more than 50,000 of our nation's youth. The foundation encouraged their love for science while promote values of social responsibilities, integrity, humility, and of course, the love for Israel. These are all traits that Ilan, inspired by both Ilan and Asaf. I wanna thank APAC for your work every day to keep the Jewish nation strong so that young men and women can always reach for the stars. Thank you. I want to congratulate the, the team of Space IL for their exciting mission and their commitment to Israel's space program. Space and innovation has become an aspiration for new generations. Children from all over the world look up to the sky and dream. That because of the example and the spirit of Ilan, the crew of Colombia, and our son, Asaf. I'm proud to be here today. This is Israel. This is the Jewish nation, and thank you so much for the honor.